Okay, we'll see this game between Frederick Lazard versus MD Gibaud, and it was played in Paris 1909. So let's see the game. White starts with e4, black plays e5, d4, e cross d4, knight f3, knight c6. So white has not captured this pawn with the queen. He wants to capture with the knight. Uh, black gave us support, but there are still two attacks and uh, white could capture, but white has not captured now. And white played bishop c4, developed the bishop, attacking this f7 weak pawn. It has the support right now, no problem. Uh, bishop c5, giving another support. So black wants to save it as much as possible, okay? Uh, he wants to uh, not allow white to capture it easily. So now white said, okay, you want to get extra point, that's okay, I don't mind. So c3 attacking this pawn, one more attack. And now if you would capture this, white would have got, you know, a very good development advantage. So he would have lost one extra pawn, but this position is good for white. So he has not captured and black played, uh, black played knight f6, which was the correct move. Now c cross d4. Actually, here e5. You could play e5 first, but uh, white played this c cross d4. C cross d4 attacking the bishop. Bishop has to move. So bishop d4 check. Knight c3 stopping. Okay, uh, the attack. Okay, the bishop cannot attack the king now. He has blocked it by the knight. Now the knight cannot give support, okay, so it's here because it's pinned. So what to do? You have attack, there is no support, so yes, black took it. Knight cross e4, which was fine. White did castle, okay, white said, okay, I cannot capture, so let me do castle and next one I'm going to capture if you don't save it. So now black has to do something, okay, either take with this or with this. And he took it with this. So then d5 attacking the knight and this is a very common position it comes actually uh, you know e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 bishop c5 in that opening it uh, comes but here it gets transposed afterwards anyway uh, after d5 now bishop f6 so you have to decide whether to save this knight or this bishop he saved this bishop now. And now what are you getting? Uh, you are getting this, but uh, white said no. I will first make attack. And this is the right one, okay? You have to now get, uh, you are getting this one, okay? He can move it. He cannot save it. So yes, black has to move the knight, this knight. Cannot save it. So leave it, move it somewhere, mostly here, so that this check or attack on the king would not come. And he played that, knight e7. Now rook cross e4 and now the threat is to play d6 and then the pawn structure would be very bad, right? Afterwards and the bishop would be very bad if the pawn is blocked by this, if you exchange over here. So you shouldn't allow white to come over here. d6 is very dangerous. So black should play d6 and that's what he did. d6 and now here you have different moves. Like uh, you can play bishop g5, which is a good move. Okay, idea. Uh, this is a good bishop for uh, black right now, attacking very nicely. You can exchange that. Second good move, you can even play rook f4, idea attacking on this uh, f6 bishop. Uh, but here, white played this g4 move, which is very interesting. Novelty that time means a new move before nobody has had played at that time. So g4. What is the idea? Idea is g5. And then the bishop has problems. Okay, so you have to do something. And black did something. Black made attack on this. So if the pawn comes ahead, he can capture with this. So now white wants to prepare. Why why white wants to play? Uh, and he played h4. Okay, now it's looking like how can you open your own king? It's not looking good. But yeah, uh, the thing is, even black's king is still in the center. He cannot do castle easily on this side. So you don't have to worry, okay? After this, king gave it now because uh, you cannot do castle. If you do castle, there is a problem. 
uh, how is it a bad move or what is the problem in that okay if you do castle then g5 will come and now a uh, big problem okay uh, if you play g i mean h cross g5 h cross g5 uh, bishop e5 maybe then knight cross e5 and white has no problem okay white is very uh, happy with all this okay like uh, same points and uh, his pieces are very good if you see compare the other uh, opponent pieces white pieces are better so king f8 okay he played here king f8 i'm not saying it's a good move or something but he played that okay he wanted to remove the pin he didn't like this pin he wanted to move the knight somewhere so he said okay i'll just move the king okay uh, because here he thought this pawn is here this pawn is here so king will be safe the only problem then this rook is bad it cannot you know uh, come on the other side if you don't do cast uh, h5 now here white played h5 because now if you play g5 opponent will get exchange and he'll be very happy because then this uh, rook's problem will be solved so now you want to make this rook as bad rook how to do it you uh, don't allow him to move this pawn ahead and that's why he played this to make this rook as a bad rook okay uh, worse so now black is trying to open everything or he wants to do something so g5 he thought that white would you know exchange with this and then i'll be okay i can capture or maybe even with the pawn so then i'll get the open file and i can attack so it will be okay but uh, here white played 94 white said this is a very good you know uh, square for the knight second important thing the knight was here there was no support with the queen only rook was giving support now the queen is also giving support so the rook can move ahead rook can do something ahead or somewhere else c6 okay now uh, here white's turn and white played queen f3 the idea is to attack this bishop which has no support and uh, black captured this to give support to this and if you take this he might capture this first and then get this and one more thing he gave support with this as well so it's not compulsory for him to capture this he can even capture this okay so gave support with the queen by moving the knight now bishop d2 okay why he doesn't want to exchange the bishop for this knight he said okay this is a good bishop i want to keep it because this is attacking and afterwards there will be very good attack on this f7 square with my bishop and queen after uh, bishop d2 knight c7 and then rook e1 rook e1 why because see you have to get all the pieces into the attack number one and this now the, both the rooks are looking very good okay they are attacking very nicely double rook uh, the moment when this queen moves somewhere this rook can come here and attack and then it will be uh, very difficult for black to save the king so d5 black thought yes this is the chance to attack on both the things it's a fork and he thought yes i'm getting something free but the problem is you know the moment when he played this now you played this so now this diagonal is open and uh, white played bishop d4 check which is a very good move king has to move king g7 and here white wanted to capture this but the supports are like this and like this white wanted to attack this uh, and that's why he played this see very good move rookie seven double exclamation mark good move very good move and here uh he played d cross c4 okay now 98 was better uh but uh here he played this and if you say if you think that okay i'll take with this now this is not good because then rook cross e7 and then there is a problem here okay if you play queen f8 to save it then it's rook cross c7 and then uh, attacking on this and if you capture this there will be a checkmate over here you can't even take it and big problem to f7 square so it's winning for white and that's why uh, after rook cross e7 i mean rook e7 uh, he captured this one d cross c4 and then knight cross c6 okay the idea is to give support but then you will say uh, he can capture this right 
if he captures then what is the problem here uh, this queen will take it see it's very interesting queen cross f6 check king cross f6 so queen sacrifice here how bishop c3 check king cannot return okay uh, he has to block and that is only uh, the queen what he has to give so bishop cross d4 and it's a check so this is the problem and that's why uh, he cannot capture with the pawn so what to do he played queen d3 to stop this bishop c3 or to exchange the queens he understood the queen is very dangerous let me exchange so he wants to exchange the queen and here white played another good move rook cross f7 sacrifice then king cross f7 and then a rookie seven check. The bishop is pinned, so you can't take with that. So king has to move down. And now queen cross f6. Now there are so many checkmate threats. Queen f7, queen g7. Uh, yeah. So how to stop that? Rook h7 to stop all this. He played this. But then there is a mating two now. Okay. Why to play mating two? How to do it? Let's see. Rookie eight check. Now the knight is attacking there, so knight will take it. Knight cross e8, but then queen f8 is a checkmate. 